All right, we out here at 6 a.m., a little after 6. It's a nice morning on Norman. Come here. And I got me some, not huge, but some decent cutter size gizzards. Mm. We're on a shallow flat here. Get another one. Got my... Shut that aerator. My daggum LED strips shorted out, so it's going in and out on me. So I got about six of these maybe. So yeah, it's 6.13 in the morning. We're on a shallow flat. It's teens feet. And there's a ton of marks here, a ton of bait and stuff chasing them. So we're gonna hopefully get on some. It seems right now the bite is at sunrise and sunset. So I got Santee and Carolina rigs. I'm clipping on these three ounce discs, sinkers. Been roll off the disc sinkers so they don't just sit there and no rolls, you know, beat your rods up. Now that I got these fancy mad cats, don't want them all tore up. That and with this, it's you want to change weights it's easier to just clip something on and if you use these no roll you have to snap your line and put a different size so we'll get us a good spread here it says one mile an hour winds to zero but this sure as heck don't feel that I don't have to re-crimp and rewire my LED strip. There's like a short in it. If I sit here, sit and messed with it all morning, if you wiggle it, it might turn on. So I'll re-crimp when I get home. Luckily, this wasn't a night trip. Sun should be up soon. I'm gonna get the rest of these rods casted out and hopefully they'll start going down. Oh, yeah, don't tell me he let go of it. He did, nope. He's on there. Thought he let go. He's running with it. Man, he's running. Uh, there we go. That was quick. There we go. Well, I ain't gonna see it yet. See, you're gonna lose that shad head. Don't do that. Gotcha. Ooh, front in the eye and the mouth. <clears throat> nice blue. Up. Oh, got one on here. I'm gonna... sitting here digging hooks in my hand. Maybe. I think he's running. Yep. There we 
we go. So start off the morning bite. And I think he might be a little bigger. Ooh, that hook got me. Or good grief. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit bigger. <sighs> there we go. It's a way to start the morning except getting a tin out in your hand. Luckily not far, just scratched. All right, let's see what these guys are and get them back in the water. All right, first one, nice 32 inch, 14 pounds, even blue catfish. And then he was 27 pounds, seven ounce. And we are at 38 inches long. That's a, that's a good looking fish. And back he goes. And hopefully you get to be 30 this spring. If you let go of the grips. There we go. I need some help. There he goes. Uh, hmm. Oh, that might just be the wind. Well, let me get these rods rebaited out and hopefully they'll keep hammering. Here we go. That was a good takedown. Yep. That's a good fish. Don't you go flopping and flailing off. He's coming at the boat quick. big as I thought. That's still a good teen. Hook looks alright. It's in the corner of the mouth. It ain't gonna be alright if you do that. be a teen. Oh man. Actually that hook is good. It don't went in and out of you. Alright, so number three already. 13 pounds, one ounce, 31 inches. So we're still in the teens range. They're sucking down my shad. This stupid out sturdier. Let's 
so they haven't really hit more in one area it don't seem kind of scattered but we'll hang out here as long as they're hammering down then if it slows down here I think I'll move further up this flat work it work some uh the hump and the shell around here and if I don't pick up or produce then we'll uh head out of this area period but hopefully we won't have to GoPro stop recording there we go we got some drag pulling on this one Uh, it does seem that on this side it might be more activity. Pretty solid fish, it feels like. why he's wrapped in it uh, I'm real oh he's gonna he's gonna go crazy if he gets untangled yep no don't rub on the boat yep that's what I fear is gonna happen best hook to either it don't look like let's get you in the net Man, it says it's supposed to be zero to one mile an hour wind. And it is not. Yeah, well, that was a great hook. Got my shad back there. I might want to might want to take some off that line where he rubbed against the boat this Andy monster you get any kind of abrasions and it just snaps We are oh, 35 inches, 21 pounds, 3 ounce. There you go. Jacket flap. It's another 20. It's not bad. Not a bad trip at all. So yeah, 
this flat is where it's at. So let me uh, trim this lawn a bit and get this thing recasted out there. Yeah, there we go. Seen him messed with it. He's just chilling. Now he's coming at the boat. Really quick. Chances of rain, but hopefully not. I mean, I got my rain gear on, but I didn't bring my umbrella to cover the GoPro. I left it in the truck. Number five already. 13 pounds, 11 ounces. Number five. Man. Number five. So, it does say most of the activity is right here. So I might get some more rods casted that way. And I gotta bait this one up. And then took my, took my shad. Here we go. It's buckled down. Quite a few. Oh man, he's running. I keep him away from all these other rods. Yeah. He's still got one. Oh, there we go. Had several good pulls, but they just never. Easy, don't hurt the rod. Tugs, but no hookups. Come on up in here. Good hook. Oh, don't do that. You're going to hit the prop. The old sun's rough back. Ornery one. So that is what number six, I believe. Thirty-one inch, fourteen pounds, seven ounces. And look at that. He's all beat up, scratched up. Uh, turning dark. Yeah, look at that, it's beat all the heck. Pot belly though. So it's it's getting close. That's why I'm trying to pack in as much as I can right here at the end of April. Well we keep hammering down so we'll keep at this spot till it dies down. But I think it's gonna be overcast most of the day. Hopefully this is light wind. All right, finally got one. I think if he didn't let go of it, he tucked down. Yeah, he's still there. I think. Yep, there he is. This is the first one here. I've just moved over a tad bit up further and to the left. That's a blue all right. He's jerking and flopping. Another 
weeny weeny. Today's smallest. All right, 29 inches, 10 pounds, two ounce. So we still got our double digit streak going. I'll just give it another little bit here. That was the only activity so far. So I'll move further up here in a minute. There we go. Been a minute. I think this was shell aside. This is third anchor. Still in the same vicinity. some fight that's still same size as we've been getting come on back up here ooh that hook has to hurt back of the mouth and that's why he's fighting so hard that probably hurts uh, 30 inch 10 pounds 9 ounces kind of beat up and bloody tail so we're still double digit we'll give it another bit here that's just been the only activity here we go. Move down to some islands. And right off the bat, got some thick marks down here. This was pretty shallow. Pretty sturdy fish. Hopefully, we got another 20s. I think he's wrapped. Yeah, he's all wrapped up. Oh, man. Yeah, he can't do nothing. Yeah, we might... Oh, man, you really wrapped yourself. Yeah. Hopefully I can get you in before you... Go ballistic. <clears throat> there we are. You don't lasso the heck out of yourself. Who you stinky? Number nine, 23 pounds, nine ounces. He was, well, I think, 36 inches long. Let me double check. Oh. oh, easy fella. Sitting here trying to measure you.
Yeah, he's got all that energy where he didn't fight it out. At least this guy's got my shad back. Well, so far. Let's see if he don't. Flop and flail it out. Easy with the equipment. All right, so I say 37 inch, uh, nine ounces. And that is the first one right there. And a back you go. And the second one, is, I think 37 inches as well. But he was 19 pounds. I think three ounces. And the back, you go. One of guys flopped and flailed everywhere. So that's 10 in the boat. Luckily the 19 left me the gizzard shed. Cause I am burning through them. There you are. He made up his mind. He's running, good grief. Yep, he said I'll make up my mind and run over every rod you got. We've anchored out by this little island here. It's teens feet, 13s, 14s. And it gets real shell up on that island. Man, you got a feisty fella. from that anchor. Whisker hooked and you ate my shad. Just trying to get that hook out of you. Pounds three ounces, 30 inches long. And that'll be number 11. Come on. Let go of the grips. There you go. There you go. Junk all over it. All right, so yeah, I'm on a shallow ledge. This side, it goes down deep to our creek bed. This side, it goes shallower up to some danger markers. And then there's a little island there. So I'm casting all pretty shallow. I ain't been here too long. I think 15 minutes. So he was the first bit of life we've had here.
Well, my GoPro locked up when I plugged it up and it, so I didn't get the fight. And he's got pooping out a clamshell. We got number 12 here. He's 15 pounds, three ounces, 33 inches long. So we'll hang out just a little bit more here. He was shallow right by that little island. I'm like, yeah, I think you can see the island right there. All right, so might have to change the plan because this is my last piece of gizzard shed. So I think we'll give it a little bit here. And then we're gonna go try to catch some more shad. All right, we had a hard pull down. He's still there. Before I did my bait run, I wanted to hit this hump while I'm down here. I got some perch left, so I won't have to have bear hooks. This is a nice hump out here in the middle of the main channel. It was covered in a uh, marks and bait. Man, he's muddy. Oh, you, don't s Man, you smash that gizzard thing all up. That might be today's smallest. Broke her double digit streak. I don't know, that is a pot belly. Well, there went our double digit streak. Seven pounds, 15 ounces. 25 inches long. All right, just so I don't have a bear hook out there few fish left in here. Uh, I think there's some big ones. We'll plop a live golden shiner out there, see what that does. Hopefully this annoying drizzle will stop soon. Yeah, it's not breaking. Alright. So now that live bait net right off, I'll be a lot of racket down there. give it a bit more here and then after this I will go get some more shed and hopefully get on fairly quick all right I do believe 13 is all we're gonna get today so not a bad trip not a great trip but still pretty good 13 cats in the boat and you know three of them were in the 20s but winds picked up rain starting to get harder the bites completely died off It'll probably pick back up here at sunset, but I gotta get home and cut up this New York strip one I got and grill some steaks. So uh we'll go ahead and sign off. I did get some shad, but not too much, but enough to get me started for tomorrow. But we'll sign off and get out again tomorrow or maybe tonight, early, early morning. Two, three, four a.m. maybe. We'll put out some lights for some male wives and such, but We'll sign off for today.